Hi there guys, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to make a sprint button in Roblox. Let's take for example, right now I'm running and when I press a sprint button and hold it down, you can see I'm sprinting. Let's see it again. So now I'm running and sprinting. Let's now go to studio and we're going to learn how to make a sprint button in Roblox two different ways. Here we are inside Roblox Studio and to make a sprint button, you're going to go to your starter player, starter character scripts and you're going to insert a local script. The first method is to use the user input service to detect when a key is pressed. The key that we're using on our keyboard is the Q key. When the Q key is pressed, we're changing the player's walk speed to 40, which makes the character run really fast because the regular speed is 16, so 40 is more than twice the regular walk speed. And this is optional in case you want to use a different animations for sprinting. You can do it like this. We're declaring the animation up here and this is how you play the animation. The way this is going to work is when the player presses the button and hold it down, then the player's character is going to be sprinting. And as soon as the player releases the button, we return the walk speed back to the regular walk speed of 16. So the player is going to go back to normal speed and we stop the animation from playing. So we return the character back to the regular, normal, running animation. Let's play test and take a look. So now I'm inside the game and I'm sprinting. This is running and this is sprinting. Let's now take a look at our second example. So I'm gonna go and disable the script here and I'm gonna enable our second script. Again, this is a local script inside the starter character scripts. Let's take a look at the second script. The second way of doing a sprint button is to use context action service. And this is probably the preferred way to do a sprint button. So up here, we're doing the usual stuff. We're declaring all the services and we're waiting for the player, the character, the humanoid to load. This is where we're setting up our sprint animation, same as before. In context action service, we're binding a key, which is the same key, the Q key, to an action. Our action is this function, the sprint function here. So when we press the Q key, it's going to connect to this function and we're checking the user input state begin here. It means when the button is being pressed down, we're going to change the walk speed to 40 and play the animation. Otherwise, it's when the user input state end, we're going to return the walk speed back to 16 because that is when the player releases the button. Let's now play test and take a look at the second method. And here I am. Now I'm going to run and sprinting running and sprinting guys that is how you make a sprint button in roblox thank you all for watching and we hope to see you again soon take care